everyone, I'm Sarah Satch and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Now today is Friday, so we're having a Friday fun day. And since we've moved, we haven't really got to have a Friday fun day. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to stitch up this cute and adorable necktie. Isn't that cute? You can put it on a shirt. <laughs> you can use it as a bookmark. It can also be put on the refrigerator with a magnet and lots of other ideas for this fun necktie applique. And we're gonna make this today. It's really super simple. And it also makes a great Father's Day gift. You can add it to a card or anything, but also use up some of your leftover scraps and make something fun. All right, let's find out what we need to make our necktie. The necktie measures about six inches long and it's about two and a half inches at the widest part. So it's a great size for a bookmark and lots of other items that you wanna add it to. I think these look adorable when you stick them on baby shirts. <laughs> All right, so what you need is just a small amount of two colors of yarn. They can be variegated or solid, and they can be cotton or wool or whatever acrylic you have in your yarn stash. Just make sure they're a medium weight number four yarn. Just a small amount of two colors. I'm using this royal blue and this pink for our demonstration today. You need an H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You need a needle for weaving in ends, and of course, a pair of scissors. Now get in your yarn stash and see what colors you can put together to make some fun neckties. I have my two colors ready to go because we're going to be changing colors every couple of rows. We'll be starting down here at the point and working our way up. So I'm beginning with my pink. I'm going to make my slip knot and chain three chains. Now I'm going to stitch two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. One and two. I'm going to chain one and turn. Now I'm going to stitch two single crochets in each of those two. So one, two, three, and four. So on row one, we had two single crochets, and on row two, we have four. Now for row three, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to stitch two single crochets in our first single crochet. One and two. Now we'll stitch one single crochet in the next two. And then in the last single crochet, we're going to stitch two single crochets. One and two. Now we have six single crochets. We're not going to cut our yarn. We're going to bring in our color two. and chain one and turn. All right, and so now what we're going to do for row four is we're just going to stitch one single crochet in each of those six. Three, four, five, Six, we're going to chain one and turn, and then again stitch one single crochet in each of those six. So we went from two to four to six, 
and then we changed colors and did two rows with one single crochet in each of those six. Now we're changing colors for row six, and so we're going to bring back in our pink or our color one, and then do our chain one. Now the chain one on every row does not count as a stitch, so we'll begin right in that first single crochet and stitch one single crochet in each of those six. And now we're beginning our striping part, working up the tie. Chain one, turn, and one single crochet in each of those six. We'll change back to our blue and chain one. And so what we're doing is we're trailing up our colors up the side of this one side. And when we come back in and do our single crochet around, we'll stitch over that area where we trailed our colors up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat what we've been doing for eight more rows alternating our colors every two rows. One single crochet in each of the six, and we'll do this for two rows so that we have a stripe of one color. And then we'll change back to the next color and repeat. And we'll do this up through row 15. See how that works? We're alternating our rows every two rows up through row 15. So I have stitched up through row 15. We have three rows of pink and then two blue, two pink, two blue, two pink, two blue, and two pink, depending on what colors, of course. You'll change your colors with the colors, or you can change it as often as you want or do it all in one color. But you wanna be up through row 15 at this point. We're going to bring back in our color two, which is my blue, and chain one, and turn. Now, we want to form those indentations on the sides in order to make it look like the top of a tie. All right, so we're going to stitch the first two single crochets together, or what you call a single crochet decrease. So we'll go in the first stitch and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook instead of the normal two. We'll yarn over and go through all three of those stitches. Now we're going to stitch a single crochet. Two single crochets. Now the last two we're going to stitch together in a single crochet decrease. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, go in the next one and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. Now we'll chain one and turn. And so what we've done is we've taken six single crochets and made it into four. And so now we're going to just stitch one single crochet in each of those four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll bring back in our color one. All right, and see how that made an indentation so that it's going to look like the top of our tie. So we've brought back in our color one. We're going to chain one and turn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch two single crochets in that first stitch. One, two, one single crochet in the next two, and then two single crochets in that last stitch. So now we've taken it and increased it back to six stitches. We indented it or made an indentation 
and now we're bringing it back out. We're going to chain one and turn and stitch one single crochet in each of those six. And then again, bring in our blue. Go ahead and chain one. I want you to see how we have that indentation on the sides here and then we brought it back out there. So now what we're going to do is stitch one single crochet in those six stitches. Chain one and turn and you'll notice you'll have to be unwinding your yarn a little bit because as we turn each time your yarn's going to get just a little bit sp uh, spun up. All right, so now our last row we're just again stitching one single crochet in each of those six single crochets. All right, now I'm going to bring back in my color one and I'm going to cut off my color two. Now, if you prefer to do the trim in your color two, you certainly can, but this is how it should look when the tie is complete, except for the trim. All right, so here's our point at the bottom. Then we worked our way up. We did the indentation here, and then we came back out and increased for the top of our necktie. And now we're going to do the trim. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and now we're going to evenly work down the side of our tie. And you want to stitch over those yarns that we trailed up the side. And there's not a set number of stitches that you need. You just want it to look nice and neat. Now that's my end and I stitched over it for a little bit, but I'm going to come back in with my needle and weave that in. All right, so I'm just going to continue working down the side of my um, necktie. Trying to make it look as nice and neat as possible. And you'll notice that portion there will come in so that it looks like a necktie. All right, so I'm just going to work on down to the point of my necktie. You want to try to stitch in the sides of those single crochet stitches and not the holes if possible. Get that out of the way there. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom point of our necktie. And we get down to this bottom point, we're going to stitch a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in that chain that we didn't work in. Remember, we had three and we started in the second. And you'll put that single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that chain we didn't use. And that'll give us a nice point right on the end of our tie. All right, so now I'm just going to work back up the side, stitching evenly. I have stitched up that second side, and the last thing I need to do is just stitch across the top of my tie for a nice finished edge. And we'll place that second single crochet. You need to make sure you stitch two single crochets in this corner and two in this corner. All right, we'll go in that next stitch. We'll grab that loop and pull it to the back. 
and we'll tie that off. Now, if you're going to sew this onto something, maybe you made a fun little bag and you wanna put this on the front of the bag, you can leave a long tail and sew it on with that. Make sure that you go back in and weave in those ends. I've already done the other ones, but I wanna show you, it's real important when you're using two different colors that you stay in that color because you don't want a pop of pink showing through with the blue or vice versa, okay? So just go back and forth, going in those stitches, making sure you stay in the same color. Alrighty. So here is my pink one, and here is the green one. Aren't they fun? <laughs> so that's our fun little necktie bookmark. You can give it to anybody that you want to for Father's Day. You can also sew them onto, say, a child's t-shirt or book bag, or you can add it to a card. It has lots of fun ways to use this. It can be an applique or a bookmark. Just have some fun with it and look in your yarn stash and see what colors you can come up with. So aren't these the cutest thing? Wouldn't they be cute just put right on a t-shirt? <laughs> they make great magnets, bookmarks, or whatever you want to do with them. I made Maximo a collar and added one to his collar and it was super cute. So anyway, that's our Friday fun day for today. I hope it was fun and that you had a good time making some of these. And they're, they're just great fun. Magnets, bookmarks, appliques, whatever you wanna do with them, you can do solids. Just get in your yarn stash and again, have some fun. See you next Friday for Friday Fun Day with Sarah. <laughs>